sprechen jetzt mit dem Organisator des Kisomba Festivals, Eme. Und äh, erstmal würde ich gerne wissen, Eme, and, uh, to be honest, yeah? how many hours did you sleep last night and the last days? Tell me, be honest. <laughs> the maximum is, uh, I think, four hours. I couldn't sleep more than four hours, but it's normal. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. So you see. Ihr seht, es ist wirklich so, dass man hier fast gar nicht schlafen kann und als Organisator schon mal gar nicht. Eme, Luxembourg Kisomba Festival is known as really well organized because of you and your team. How many people work in the background for this festival to make it happen? Uh, during the festival we have uh, almost 60 people, between 50 and 60 people that are working for uh, as staff. And, uh, but during um, during the, uh, before the festival, we have four main organizers and I have a, a really good help of uh, Tracy, mm -hmm. my partner, and uh, my, <laughs> I, can, I call her my assistant, she was really good to uh, help her a lot. Okay. How many months are needed to organize this festival? <laughs> we are starting for the next edition, so we need 12 months, so it's wow. one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So after the festival is before the next festival. Yeah, like yeah that. it's like that. <laughs> wow. How many dancers are attending the festival and how did the number of participants change from the first edition to now? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know really the numbers, the real number now because it's, we are still uh, in the festival. I think we have around uh, maybe 2,000 people, I think more than 2,000 people, yeah. and uh, why we, we change, because, okay, we know that people like to dance, and uh, our goal is to make happy people, so uh, we just think about to have five days this time, and I think that people really like it. It's amazing, it's really amazing, I have to say that. Like, did you expect that big success, and that Luxembourg is now one of the the country that is having one of the best Kisimba festivals <laughs> yeah, like in yeah. the world, I would say. Let's say that. <laughs> yeah, when we when we start, we uh, we expect something that 400 people, and when we start the first edition, we uh, we had around 800 between 700 and 800. So now it's crazy to have more than 2,000, and um, yes, when we start, we didn't expect that, and we are really happy. Uh, that people think that it's one of the best, it's one of the best organization, and uh, it's really because my team, my guys, of course, Pingusu, Estra, um, Ronnie, and I talk about Tracy too. Yeah, and uh, but before there was uh, um, Raquel, she wasn't in our team I know. this year. Uh, Manuela, Isabel. Uh, they, they work a lot in, in the team, and it's because them that now we are we are one of the best. And uh, I want to talk uh, to say that it's not only the main organizer when you organize course, a festival. Of course, you need the staff, all the people. The volunteers yes. are doing a very very good job, and mm -hmm. uh, we are really 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 happy uh, for that. Mm -hmm. Really happy. What does it cost to bring such a big event to the people? Uh, I mean, can you can you tell some numbers like uh, I don't know? You mean about money or about yes, uh, about money? Uh, to bring uh, <laughs> depend <laughs> on the place you are booking. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of expensive. You know, each year our how to say budget, uh, budget increase because. Uh, if you change the place, if yeah. you are booking a big room, mm -hmm. if uh, it's, I think that the first edition it was something like uh, 30 or 40, yes, 30, um, uh, 30 thousand euros, and now we are, I think, around the, 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 the double or more than the double. So. Wow. It's really, really it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And will you, like, let's say, will you arrive in the green numbers after the festival? Like, will it, will it be okay? Yeah. Like, for we are, yeah. we are an association, so we don't really earn money. That may be the reason mm -hmm. that we had this success, because we are not yeah. thinking to earn money. We are thinking just to do everything that people um, to make people enjoy the festival mm -hmm. and. Um, 
and just that okay it's really complicated really mm -hmm. difficult because yeah. we are if we lose money we lose we, our own money of so course. it <laughs> we are in stress every day <laughs> uh, because the money is a yeah. lot but um, when you think only to people and when you f you, you think about to make happy people mm -hmm. yeah you can I think that is a way to, to to bring people mm -hmm. um, just one thing I didn't talk about I talk about the, the girls uh, Raquel and uh, and um, Isabella, but Melissa was my ex partner yeah. and uh, she was in the team too. So mm -hmm. that I want to say also that it's uh, it's because of that we we have that success. Yeah. How will the festival continue in the future? Anything new? Changes? Growing? <laughs> we Any are idea? we are trying every time to make it different to yeah. make it. That uh, to to bring something new to to uh, to surprise people and uh, um, we see maybe next year it will be something yeah? different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will yeah. there be some some surprises? As always. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, I know that you're gonna be dead after those five days of you know like nearly 24 hours of organizing and being there for the people yeah. um where do you get your energy from and and how will you recover after the festival any plans or <laughs> tell uh, me about that if i knew <laughs> <laughs> uh, no i yeah. think that when you organize maybe yeah. the stress make you be awake every time so maybe it's that and um you know you don't organize festival if you don't like people if you don't like make uh, happy people and uh, when you, you you finish the festival you see the faces of people they are so happy and they say you are the best and you making you make that they enjoy it really good feedback yeah 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 i think that that is our um, uh, our salary mm -hmm. uh, that's what it's the reason that we are doing that so yeah. after the festival just sleeping 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 or yes. no. also holidays <laughs> any plan to i don't work? have holidays because i have a normal job so <laughs> uh, i have to to start to work on wednesday so <laughs> no so no only no tomorrow and, yes and only to tomorrow and tomorrow clean up we'll, everything we have to, to yes we have to clean and uh, arrange everything so <laughs> I'm just trying to take uh, no kizomba during one week, and after that, again, you know, <laughs> it's just that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Emi, he's also teaching in Luxembourg in kizomba. So, any classes next week or this week? Um, there will be a classes where I'm <laughs> I'm doing my class, <laughs> but I, I asked to a, a friend to uh, to replace me because I know that I will be not able to. <laughs> I think to do I it. think he earns this break. Really. <laughs> yeah, so next week, next week you will be back. Yeah, yeah, next classes. week. Yeah, sure. So if you want to attend the classes of Eme for learning Kizomba, where do the, have the people have to go and when do they have to be with?